Hello my lovely friends, how are you? Today in this lecture we are going to discuss about IC technology. Every processor must eventually be implemented on a integrated circuit that is IC. IC technology involves the manner in which we map a digital that is gate level implementation onto a IC. IC often called a chip in, uh, is a semiconductor device consisting of a set of connected transistors and other devices. A number of different processes exist to build semiconductors. The process popular of which is complementary metal oxide semiconductor that is CMOS. IC technology differs by how customized the IC is for particular design. IC technology is independent from processor technology. Any type of processor can be mapped to any type of IC technology as you can see from this figure. In this figure you can see that IC package having we mapped over you can see over here this is actually an IC okay and this IC is constructed with source gate that is oxide channel okay and there is a drain also this is silicon substrate okay to understand the difference among IC technology we first recognize that semiconductors consist of numerous layer bottom layers form the transistors the middle layer form logic components the top layer connect connect these with wire one way to create these layer is by depositing photosensitive chemical on the chip surface and then signing light through mask to change the reason of the chemicals thus the task of building the layers is actually one of the designing appropriate mask a set of mask often called a layout the narrowest line that we can create on a chip is called the feature size which today is well below one micrometer that is sub micron for each ic technology or layer must eventually be built to get a working ic the question is how who and where these layers are built search in it and find out the answer and send a comment to me now coming up on the full custom vlsi in a full custom ic technology we optimize all layers for a particular embedded system design implementation such optimization includes placing the transistor to minimize interconnection length size sizing the transistor to optimize signal transmission and routing wires among the transistors once we complete all masks we send the mask specification to fabrication plant that build the actual ic's full custom ic design often referred to as very large scale integration VLSI design has a very high NRE cost and long turn around times typically many months before the IC become available but can yield excellent performance with small size and power it is usually used only in high volume or extremely performance critical applications next is semi custom ASIC that is gate array and standard cell in an application specific ICs that is ASIC technology the lower layers are fully or partially built leaving us to finish the upper layers in a gate array ASIC technology the mask for the transistor and gate levels are already built that is the IC already consists of array of gates the remaining task is to connect these gates to achieve our particular implementations in a standard cell asic technology logic cells such as an and gate or an and or invert combination the mask portion are pre-designed usually by hand thus the remaining task is to arrange these portion into complete mask for the gate level and then to connect the cells asics are by far the most popular ic technology as they provide for good performance and size with much less nre cost 
than full custom ICs. However, ASICs is still required week or even months to manufacture. Next is PLD. In a programmable logic device technology, all layers already exist. So we can purchase the actual IC before finishing our design. The layers implement a programmable circuit when programming has a lower level meaning than a software program. The programming that takes place may consist of creating or destroying connection between wires that connect gates either by blowing a fuse or setting a pit in a programmable switch. Small devices called programmers connected to a desktop computer typically perform such programming. We can divide PLD into two types, simple and complex. One type of simple PLD is programmable logic array, that is PLA, which consists of programmable array and uh, of and uh, gates and a programmable array of OR gates. Another type of programmable uh, array logic is uh, uh, PAL, which uses just one programmable array to reduce the number of expensive programmable components. One type of PLD growing very rap rapidly in popularity over past decade is field programmable gate array that is FPGA. FPGA offer more general connectivity among blocks of logic rather than just array of logic as with PLA and PALs and are thus able to implement far more complex design. PLDs offer very low NRE cost and amongst instant uh, IC availabilities. However, they are typically bigger than ASICs, may have higher unit cost, may consume more power and may be slower, especially FPGAs. They still provide reasonable, uh, reasonable performance though so they are especially well suited to rapid prototyping. Coming up on trends, we should be aware of what is by far the most important trend in the embedded system, a trend related to ICs. As we can see that IC transistor capacity has doubled rough, roughly every 18 months for past several decades. This is more slow. According to him, and we can see practically in our daily life that the logic transistor per chip has been increased exponentially over past decades. We can also see that the size of the trans tra transistors of 10,000 was very large in 1981, but in 2002, the 15 crore, about 15 crore chip was having very less in size. Hope you have understood this whole concept. If you are watching till now, please press the like button. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching.